Hi guys, so I'm uh, Kevin. I'm a founding engineer at PODB and now I work for engineering at ClickHouse and along with me, my colleagues uh, Kunal and Amor. Uh, so we're going to quickly go over uh, how we have implemented Postgres CDC in ClickHouse using PODB. So what is PODB? So PODB was, uh, is an ETL tool that was designed to stream data from Postgres to multiple destinations, uh, one of them being ClickHouse. Uh, and uh, because we only focus on Postgres as our only source, we decided uh, to only focus on Postgres. And because of that, we are the fastest, most cost efficient, most reliable tool to move data from Postgres to other uh, destinations. And uh, PDB is an entirely you know, self-contained product. So it had a UI, it had a command line interface, it had, uh, like it was easy to configure, easy to monitor, and it was you know, really good at what it did. Uh, PDB could be deployed by multiple strategies. You could use Docker, you could use Kubernetes, and we also had a managed offering uh, called PODB Cloud, which a lot of our customers used to move petabytes of data from Postgres to other uh, destinations. Uh, we are a fully open source project. Uh, we have around 2.4K uh, stars in GitHub at the moment, and we also have several external contributors as well. Uh, so because of the value that PODB brought to the community, uh, ClickHouse decided to acquire PODB uh, last July. So it's around been around nine months since then. So let's quickly go over some of uh, PODB supported features. So PODB uh, supports custom order keys. So for context in ClickHouse, to you know partition data as efficiently as possible and uh, to you know maximize the performance of your queries, you'd want to have an uh, order key based on your schema of your table. So PODB supports specifying the custom order keys. So you can sort of specify the columns that should be part of your ordering key in PODB. And uh, PODB will set up those order keys on ClickHouse for you and ensure that it's all managed by PODB. We also support uh, read replicas. So read replicas are a recent innovation in the Postgres community. And uh, a lot of our larger customers use read replicas to you know, reduce the load on uh, the larger, uh, like on the primary databases and use read replicas for uh, replication of ClickHouse instead. Uh, we support that. We also support partition tables. So in case you decide to partition a Postgres table based on day or month or whatever, we support that without any uh, issues. We also support a lot of other features uh, to make you know the ClickHouse to Postgres ClickHouse experience as best as possible. Let's quickly go over one of you know PODB's USP features, which is you know our parallelized initial snapshot. So for context, if you want to move like a terabyte size table from Postgres somewhere else, historically the experience for that has been really you know it takes a lot of time to do so because it's a single thread operation. And what PODB decided to do is you know to um, use the CTID column instead. So uh, basically, CTID column is an internal column of Postgres that represents the disk position of each row. And instead of you know relying on the primary key of the table, we just use a CTID column and you know start multiple cursors in parallel. So, uh, like for example, we have 48 threads. Each thread you know takes a certain amount of rows and moves them from Postgres to ClickHouse in parallel. And because they use CTID scans instead of you know primary key scans, it's all disk scans. So it's really efficient. Uh, way of doing this and we can move you know a terabyte size table from uh, instead of taking you know like a few days it takes us a few hours to move like a terabyte size table and this is one of uh, uh, like PODB's uh, most significant functions. Uh, so I'll uh, hand it over to Kunal to continue the talk. So hello guys I'm Kunal. Uh, so over the past few months since the acquisition of uh, PODB by ClickHouse we've been working to integrate uh, ClickPipes, uh, uh, PADB into ClickPipes. Uh, ClickPipes is uh, Click, uh, ClickHouse's in-house uh, in data ingestion platform. And uh, uh, on this platform, we now have support for CDC, wherein you can just uh, have updates on Postgres which are propagated to ClickHouse or even one-time migrations where you have uh, like a snapshot of your database which you'd like to migrate to ClickHouse. And one of uh, the features that we support from a security standpoint is uh, your access to private Postgres instances via SSH tunnel link or AWS private link. So what it allows you to do is not expose your database over the internet and just use a, a private connection to you know simply move your data over. Another thing we support is out of the box alert for slot lag and uh, click pipe errors. So uh, what usually happens during replication is if you have like bursty workloads or if you have long running transactions, the slot lag can rise a little bit. So to make sure that your disk does not, uh, you know, run out of space, we have like in, uh, integrated alerts uh, 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 there, there itself, as well as you know any errors during the pipeline, we we do send out alerts so that you know you can just go over and let's say you change something in your Postgres setting, maybe you change your password that led to the pipeline breaking, we just send out a real time alert in that case so that you you have your data up and running. 
Also, like we have like 24 seven or uh, like round the clock support. So your, your pipelines are always working. So uh, we will have a short demo of ClickPipes, uh, which uh, Amoog will be running over and uh, we'll, I'll just talk through it. So uh, like spinning up a ClickPipe is pretty easy. You just go to your uh, ClickHouse console, you select your service for to which you want to replicate your data, go to the data sources tab on the left, select Postgres CDC tile here, and then you can just fill out your connection details. So for now, we have just easily filled out the connection details. We support SSH tunneling out of the box here, and we have three modes, uh, initial load CDC, initial load, and CDC only. It's like out of scope for now. So during this phase, we validate, we look at a few settings in your Postgres, we provide some recommendation, you know, so our experience is as good as possible. And um, so next, you can have an option to select your publication. If you want, if you want, yeah, we can also create a publication if we have the appropriate permissions. And so this, these are a few interesting settings. We'll, we'll come over these again uh, in a minute or so. And now uh, like you can select your tables on the source. You can select existing database. Here we'll also be selecting nullable so that we are able to propagate these nulls. As now, uh, if you select the tables, so we'll be propagating the event tables and you can also select the destination table name as you wish. And here we, we also have column exclusion available. So let's say if you have some you know, data that you don't want to replicate, you can just uh, deselect it from the list of columns and you also have support for custom ordering keys. As Kevin explained, they are very important for to make sure that your ClickHouse queries are as efficient as possible. We can have like, you, you can select the custom order keys here itself. There's also a users table, which we'll be adding later. So now this, this is the just the last step. You provide access to uh, the click pipe. And once you create it, we, we, we uh, get started with the pipeline in the background. So the, the UI takes a little bit of time, but uh, once uh, we have the new pipe here, so it's already provisioning and it, it should go to like setup and then to snapshot where it, yeah, it's now in snapshot. It means that it's now replicating data via the CTID uh, scan that uh, Kevin talked about. So it's already done like 700 K rows in about a few seconds. And I think we should be done maybe in a second or so. So it's already completed, it already completed a million rows and it's now in the running phase so any inserts that you do will actually be automatically replicated. So uh, we, we can also look at the table once, uh, the table which was replicated, the events table. So if we, if we look at the events table, it has all the data as expected. We just give it a few seconds to load. And if you look at the schema, it is as expected. So if you see here, it has the nullables, it has the order key that you set. It, it also has to show uh, the total rows are 1 million as expected. So this is uh, uh, basically PADB in the backend in action uh, via click pipes. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to add another table because as your database evolves, you'd, like, you'd have more tables coming and then you'd like to start replicating them as well. For that, you just need to pause the pipe. It will take a few seconds to uh, pause the pipe so that we are able to you know maintain uh, uh, consistency. So as I was talking about, there are some advanced settings here. Uh, uh, we'll come back to that, but yeah. So uh, now we'll add the users table, which you did not add earlier. We'll just select it right away. We will not change a lot of settings. You've already gone through the non able sorting keys. So now we'll just show like, we, you can actually like add the table at any point in time and it will get added. Yep. So we just go back to the tables page. Oh, it, it's already complete. It had a thousand rows. It already completed till the time like we were uh, looking at it. And if we go back to the demo again, the users demo table. Yep. And again, like it, it's as expected. It has. So if you don't specify the ordering key, it uses the primary key of your uh, source Postgres, and it has like all the thousand rows here. So I think one thing we can also do is like look at the advanced settings. Yeah, so if you uh, look here, the, uh, we have a few settings here, which is sync interval and parallel threads. Parallel threads is the setting which uh, uh, Kevin talked about earlier. It's the number of parallel threads in which we read from Postgres via the, uh, you know, the multiple threads in which we read from CDID, which is what makes like uh, click pipe so efficient. So uh, wrapping up, like we have, uh, uh, we, we are already working on new features. So as uh, the ClickHouse introduced a new JSON type feature, 
we are also also starting to work on you know having this in click pipes of edb as well wherein you can replicate native json b in postgres to uh, json in clickhouse we are also working on postgres logical replication v2 which is basically the protocol in which we read uncommitted trans transactions on the fly so that you know we are able to apply any incoming changes as fast as possible and as efficient as possible and finally we are also planning on adding mysql as a source so if like any of you guys uh, use mysql if you would like to start replicating data from mysql like hit us up as you know hit hit uh, paul up or johnny up and would like to you know design partner and uh, if if you like like you can just start using click pipes right away you can scan the qr or you can just like visit clickpipes.pdb.io and you should be redirected to the private preview